in this section we'll learn about github the world's most popular repository hosting solution which is best on git technology in the previous section getting up and running with git we learned the concepts related to git and the basic commands to get up and running with git in this section we'll be going to take a github tour we'll learn how to fork a github repository we'll also learn how to clone a github repository and finally we'll learn the pull push and fetch process in the context of a github repository in this video we'll be taking a tour of the github so here we are in the browser we are in https github.com so here you can see github is built for developers so this summarizes what github can do it says you can host and review code manage projects and build software alongside millions of other developers now you can browse this website from the various menus at the top you can see and you can sign up or sign in from here so if you click sign up it gets us to a page something like this or if you go to the home page you'll just go back you are provided a form like this whereby you can register yourself now i am already registered on github so i'll straight away click on sign in so i have entered my user id and password i'll click the sign in button now here we are offered a user interface after logging in and you can create repository either from the top from this drop down menu by clicking on new repository or simply you can hit this green button you can see over here new repository and already you can see a listing of the repositories which i have already created so i'll hit this new green button new repository and here you can see the form for creating a new repository so i'm the owner over here and let's create a repository let's name it demo project and it shows that this project name is unique so you have a green tick over here and we can provide optionally a description now github provides both for public and private repositories and private repositories are of course paid ones we'll choose public repository over here and you can initialize this repository with a readme file add a git ignore file and or optionally add a license we'll initialize this repository with a readme and hit the create repository button and here you get the interface where you can manage your code we'll go through some of the features in later videos you can create new pull request create new file upload files find file also you can clone or download this repository you can also watch the repository you can mark it as favorite and also you can fork the repository from here right now we'll stop at this interface over here we'll go through it in more detail in later videos now let's click the image icon over here you can see at the right top and you can go to your profile you can go to settings over here let's hit your profile and here you can see a picture of myself you can add your own picture and you see the popular repositories here the repositories stars followers and following you can edit the profile and that will get to us a page which is same as if you hit the settings over here so let's hit the settings and this is a very important page and it provides a list of options whereby you can manage your code very well so you have the profile details over here you have not provided anything right now you have the accounts where you can change your password change username and other things similarly you can manage ssh keys deal with security matters block users create organizations and so on and so forth now you can go to your list of repositories at any time by clicking on this octocat icon at the top left let's click on it and here you get your list of repositories and so we just now created a demo project as you can see over here and you can right away get into the project by clicking on this link now another important thing is the github url so here you can see github.com at the top in the address bar then you have a username which is Bivash Roy for me and then the repository name which is demo project that we just now created and if you want to log out you can simply click over here and you can sign out out of the repository so to summarize we took a tour of github we created a github repository 
and also had a look at github profile and setting page briefly